Finlaysonii. Finlaysonii is that right? Finlaysonii, Finlaysonii. We'll see. Hi everybody, my name's Elizabeth and you're watching Elizabeth's Leaves where I just want to talk about houseplants and today we're going to be talking about my August houseplant favorites. These are the plants that are doing really well. Some of these are plants that I told you in past videos that I was kind of worried about or that I was struggling with and now they're doing way better and they are popping off with growth. I have one, two, three, four, five, six plants to talk about today and I am super duper excited to show you some of them. Um, okay, so this first one is one that I was struggling with, and this is the Hoya finlaysonii. If I said that incorrectly, please forgive me. Um, but it had that little bitty baby leaf in my bedroom tour, and I was terrified of knocking it off because you can see I have knocked off leaves here, leaves here, here. I kept knocking these leaves off, and finally, finally, it has put this out, and look, it is giant. Um, I am... Curious as to why it's really thin. These other ones are quite thick, but this one is very thin, but I'm just so thrilled that it is as large as it is and that I have not knocked it off. I actually put this plant outside. Um, if you've watched my previous video where I rearranged and cleaned my back porch, you would have saw that I put this on the back porch. It loves it. It loves the back porch. It has given me a new leaf and I'm just really excited about that. I honestly want to chop this plant up because I really don't like the bare stem look that it has going on but I'm really really scared that I'm not going to be able to propagate it and that I'm going to lose this big long vine so we'll see if I ever get the courage to chop this plant up but yes finally finally I'm starting to have some success with the Finlaysonii and I am extraordinarily excited about this big leaf right here very beautiful Okay, the next one is one that is in my bedroom and it's my variegated rabbit tracks Maranta. And I talked kind of badly about this plant in my bedroom tour, talking about how I was just struggling with it. It didn't want to put out larger leaves. It really wasn't growing. Um, it was struggling really bad. And now, I don't know, I think the plant heard me and it was like, wait, no, like I don't want that to be my reputation and it has exploded. It's gorgeous. The variegation is beautiful. The leaves are finally sizing up. You can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten new leaves, and that is absolutely insane to me. My grow lights are starting to turn off, so give me just one moment to turn those back on, but I'm thrilled that this plant is finally happy. I guess it just took it a while to acclimate, and then I just needed to learn what it needed. But I don't even know if I can show you how giant this new leaf that's coming out is. I mean, it is as long as my hand. I cannot wait for that leaf to come out. It doesn't look super variegated, but it is very, very big. So I think I finally figured this plant out and I am so, so excited. It's beautiful. All right, the next one, this is going to be the video of like Anthurium. Uh, before I get to Anthurium, let's do the last one that's not in Anthurium. So this is my Alocasia fry deck. I know it's not actually a fry deck because it's not variegated, but I can never remember the correct term for this, so I will put that on the screen. Um, it has been dormant forever. It was in my kitchen and it was putting out growth pretty slowly in there and then I put it outside and it stopped. It stopped growing. It dropped all of its leaves except for these two and as you can see these two are not are not very happy. But finally, see, look, all these grow lights are turning off on me. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, these leaves are not happy. And finally, both of them are putting out new growth and there's a baby inside. So I'm hoping that this plant is about to take off. I'm really hoping for some really big, beautiful leaves because the veining on these, I mean, it's not so beautiful on these leaves because they're just struggling. The plant's probably going to drop these soon. Um, but I can't wait to see this beautiful veining. I think it's really incredible. So I am absolutely stoked to see. <laughs> I'm 
really excited to see what happens with these new leaves that are finally coming out. They're going to be beautiful. All right, so now I have three Anthurium, two of which I was struggling with and one that really uh, wasn't doing much. So the first one is my Anthurium Vichii, Vichii, the King Anthurium. Um, this is that baby leaf that we saw in my bedroom tour. It has gotten so much bigger. It did rip right here. I probably did that when I was touching it. I'm not so sure. Um, but yeah, this is the first leaf that it has given me in my care. And I think it is absolutely beautiful. You can see all that beautiful ribbing starting to happen. And I'm really hoping that that next leaf is going to be even bigger. But this plant seems to be very happy and I am just so excited that I, it's finally growing because I've had it for a couple of months and it just hadn't put out any new growth. And now it is and the growth is big and beautiful. So I'm really excited to see what this plant is going to do in the future. Our next Anthurium is one that I have in my kitchen and you saw this in my kitchen tour. It is my Anthurium warquianum, and this is that new leaf that you saw that was starting to emerge. It is so beautiful. It is not hardened off yet, so I'm expecting that it is going to get a little bit bigger than this. But oh my goodness, I'm so excited that this leaf came out because the leaf before it turned yellow. I guess I underwatered it, and I know Anthurium pitch a fit when they're underwatered. And so that leaf yellowed and fell off and finally it's giving me new growth and it is gorgeous and I'm just so excited about that. And I thought I was going to have to move it to a different area in my home, but it's still in the kitchen under that really bad grow light and it seems to be happy now. So I just got to keep up with that watering schedule and make sure that I fertilize it and water it, water it consistently. So that is the Warquianum. All right, and my last houseplant favorite for this month is Anantherium. It is my Anantherium crystallinum. So you saw this in my um, kitchen and bathroom tour, and they were just little bitty babies, and now look at them. They're gorgeous, and they're not hardened off either, so I can't wait to see if these two are going to get any bigger. And there is a third one, even though it's damaged. It has a third one coming out as well. I'm not sure if that one was there in my ba um, bathroom tour or not, but these two are magnificent. There is some damage here because they're touching. Um, they're just so close together, but wow. Wow, this plant wasn't doing anything for a really long time. I had to cut off all the original leaves that it came with and I was just very sad about that, but now it's finally growing and taking off and giving me three leaves at one time. I think that's really, really exciting. <laughs> so those were my houseplant favorites for the month. Um, I'm just so happy that these plants are happy and thriving because they were all plants that I was really worried about and scared that I was going to kill. And now it seems like I have finally figured out their care and they have acclimated to their area. And I'm just super stoked about the growth that I'm getting right now. Um, if you enjoy my content, please like and subscribe so you won't miss that next planty video. I really appreciate you watching this video, and I can't wait to see you next time. Thank you so much. Bye! Oh, pain. Fix yourself, Elizabeth.